Hello everybody, my name is Given the Toe, and today we're gonna play another horror game. This horror game is called Patricia. It is also free on Steam. I just found it. I have no idea how old it is or how new it is. I think it's pretty new because it's under the news section. Um, I'm going into this one completely blind. I don't know what the game is about. All I did was that I watched the pictures and it looks it looks kind of scary. That's what we're after here, okay? Scary as games. So without further ado, we're gonna play this game right about now. But before we do that, I just gotta say one fast thing. If you're new in here, very much welcome. You are very much welcome to my family. Please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos. And throw me a thumbs up on the clip. That would be so much appreciated. And if you're a returning subscriber, it is nice to see you again. Let's get it on. Okay, here we go. Ready for this? Let's go! What a lovely town. Uh, how did I run out of gas already? Okay, the voice acting in this game is clearly top notch. Ooh, nice house. Hello? It's, uh... Hello? Is anyone here? What we would call a mansion. Hello? Who's there? <gasps> okay. Fairly interesting beginning. The voice acting is uh, <laughs> a little bit off. Oh. Hello? Okay. I right. need to find the key. You need to find the key, right? It's locked! What? What is with the voice acting of this game? Turn on the lights. Let's take this. Oh, we got ourselves a flashlight. Thank God for that. Close the inventory, please. It's in the way. Thank you. Nice. Maybe... Something in the wardrobe? Hmm. Okay. I guess not. Oh. What is this? Maybe I should take it. Oh, maybe I should take it. You know the boy. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to keep focused here on the scary parts. But the voice acting, it, it reminds me way too much of Resident Evil 1. And I made the original Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation 1. What's this? Sounds like Jill I Valentine. Wonder. You wonder... You wonder what? What? What do you wonder? Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Ouch! You're wounded! You saved me! That's what I was going to say. Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, hello? <laughs> nice doll. Um, a little bit too big for my size, but fine. You know what? I'm gonna keep my distance from you a little bit. HOLY FUCKING BITCH! What the fuck was that? Okay, that... <laughs> HOLY FUCKING BITCH! I wasn't prepared for that one. Okay, cut me some slack. Screw you. I gotta open this thing. Oh, it's a grandfather's clock. You can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. Oh, I, I need a screwdriver. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh. Okay. Excuse me, mister. You don't, uh, you don't look that, that scary, actually. Can I uh, interact with you? No. Okay, you're just standing there. Let's open this up. What is this? I hid it in a book. Okay. Who wrote this? How, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? And who are you talking to? Wow, well, 
I really like the environmental detailing, like... Okay, that's a fairly shitty picture. What's in here? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. Alright. Let's uh, try... To... Oh, is this the front door? Oh, of course it's locked. I can't get out. Great stuff. Alright. Moving on. What a lovely house. What's in here? I wonder... You wonder what? Hmm. hmm. All right. Can we turn this light on at least? I wonder. I, 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 I can't. I, I just. I can't handle the voice acting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take this. Okay. I. So what? what? The fuck is that? Okay, I don't know what we took. It looks like a pendant or something. I I mean I can't hover with the mouse over it, so I can't like examine it. Fuck you! What the hell? Oh, the pendant. What what am I supposed to do with it? Okay, I pressed T. I do not know what I'm doing. Use it. They can't harm you. What is it talking about? Oh, is it the pendant? If I have the pendant, they can't harm me? Can I need I... to find the key. Okay. But I picked up a key before. What the fuck does that go to? Moving on to the next room. Wow. Okay. This looks fairly cool. Oh, there's that creaking sound again. Really, you're moving? Yeah. Oh, of course, he's gone. Of course. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't have the combination, so I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four. Fuck. No, of course. It's the wrong combination. And he's right behind me, isn't he? Okay, I guess not. Can we turn this one on? Maybe I should take it. Take what? What did we take? Did we take a key? Alright. Moving on. Oh, what a nice ship model. Stop with that creaking sound. I know you're in here. I wonder. Oh, you wonder. There is a lot of stuff you wonder. A sofa. I can interact. <laughs> Fuck me in the fucking jävla fickel. <laughs> Did I die? Really? I died? Really? I'm gonna have to start over? Are you fucking... Are you... Hello? Fucking kidding me. I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay, this is fairly interesting because this time I didn't get a flashlight in the beginning. Okay, I think I kind of understand how the pendant works. Kind of pull it out whenever that dude comes up behind me. Oh shit. You know what? <laughs> Don't you fucking dare, you motherfucker. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, looks like another... Okay, you know what? This game can suck my ass. Because you can't literally get anywhere before this dude comes up behind you. When you try to, like, examine stuff and find stuff, then you like, completely butt-fucked by this dude, and you have to start over the game. And you know what I say about that? I say, go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> well... That was not my kind of game. I mean, I can't really handle when you're supposed to... I can't really handle when you're supposed to play a horror game in first-person view, examine stuff, finding the puzzles and shit like that. Shit that we like. And as soon as this demon doll dude gets up behind you, you are fucked, okay? You don't stand a chance, you can't do nothing. You have to start over from the beginning. And that kind of pisses me off. I know that there's probably something you gotta do with a pendant. I mean, I saw that the doll took damage when I took out the pendant, but that was when he was standing 
still. Besides, when you use the pendant, you kind of had to like recharge it again over time. So how long are you going to stand there for it to recharge until you can like destroy the entire doll? You're going to stand there for like 20 minutes? No. I'm going to give an A for effort. Absolutely. The graphics were fine. The details were pretty good. Uh, the jump scares are good. They are there and they come when you least expect them to. So that's a plus. But the voice acting... <laughs> <sighs> oh my goodness. It's like they, they told this college student, like, Oh, hi, uh, we're, we're making a game called Patricia, and we would like for you to say this line that is on this piece of paper and do it into the jar over here. <laughs> you, you don't have to mean it. Sorry, I know I'm bitching about it, but, I mean, come on. If you're going to release a video game, just, 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 do do it properly. I'm sorry, but this game is a no-go for me. I don't feel like continuing. It's just it just pisses me off. I would give it like a three out of a ten, but I'm gonna give it a two out of a ten. I'm sorry. That's uh, like the whole point of the game. What are you what <laughs> What are your thoughts about this game? Am I being too harsh? Leave it in your comments down below. I'm gonna set out on a mission to try to find the next horror game. Hopefully that game will be a little bit more playable. But I want to thank you for watching this video, though. This is kind of what we do. We review the games. So, every game can't be perfect. And this was one of them. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye!